Hi, my name is Andrea. Welcome to Fabla Fundamentals. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use negative voltage on a DC power supply. So some common applications of this are usually for op amps. So when you want to put the supply voltage, you usually need a, well, you always need a, a negative voltage. So make sure you look at the data sheet, make sure you know the pin and that you know the voltage that you need. So let's get started. First, I'm going to turn on my DC power supply here. Then um, in this video, I'm going to be using both channels. So I'll be using channel two as my negative voltage and channel one as my positive voltage. Here I set them to five volts. So channel two is going to be negative five volts and channel one is going to be positive five volts. So now I'm going to go to the connections. So you want to make sure that you get this right. Um, so just double check your connections after. Um, so channel two is going to be my negative. 5 volts. So I will be connecting the negative terminal to my breadboard. In this case, I have, I have I will be using a breadboard to show you how it works. So I connect that to my negative. So this is going to be negative 5 volts. Now, I connect my positive 5 volts, which will be channel 1 in this case. So my, my positive terminal here, that's going to be connected also to my breadboard and that is going to be the 5 volts volts, positive 5 volts. So here I connect it and this is going to be 5 volts. Now um, we get to the grounding. So for my negative 5 volts, I need to connect the positive terminal to ground. So you'll be grounding the positive terminal of the channel with the negative voltage, just like that. And then for channel 1, it's just um, as always, just connect the negative terminal onto ground here, ground is here, okay? So then after that is said, you want to make sure that all your connections are right. So my positive term, my positive of my channel 2, which is my negative voltage, is connected to ground as well as my negative terminal of channel 1, which is my positive voltage, okay? And then after that, I will be turning the power supply on, so channel one here and channel two here. So they turn on and then you can see that it should be working. So now um, I grab my multimeter. There's a separate video on how to use a multimeter if you want to watch it, but here I'll be using a DC, DC voltage. Um, so now if I connect, well, if I put my negative lead onto the ground of the power supply and connect the positive lead onto the, the positive voltage, you should be seeing 5 volts, okay? And then if I connect the negative to the ground here in my DC power supply and then connect the other to the negative 5 volts, you can see that in the multimeter it reads negative 5 volts. So then that's right. And then if I connect one to the positive 5 volts and the other one to the negative 5 volts. That gives me 10 volts, which makes sense since it's negative 5 and 5 and the voltage drop or the voltage difference is 10 volts. Okay, with that, turn off my DC, uh, my multimeter, the DC power supply with the same buttons. Turn it off. And that is how you use the negative voltage on a DC power supply.